Hey everyone, what's up? I'm very excited. I have this new record out called Meditations on an Angel. And I have to tell you this crazy story of how this record came to be because it really shouldn't have. Um, it was kind of a miracle. So, um, Alma and I were traveling last summer, um, 2022, and we had met in India at the end of my fellowship last year, and we went to Europe. So, I had a run of concerts in Germany and France and Spain, actually Spain and then France, and we had this amazing time with old friends uh, in Bingen, Germany. Garano and Julie Bloom, who are amazing musicians and human beings. And then we went down to Madrid. We flew down to Madrid, met my dear sister from CalArts, Rosalia, who's a wonderful, just precious human being, and, and uh, her partner, Marisol, and also wonderful musicians and just creative people. We had a concert in Madrid, which was really cool. And uh, then we went and played at her place up in the mountains in Extremadura um, and had a really cool time up in central Spain. And uh, I actually got COVID and uh, I just had like this amazing COVID vacation. It was, it, I was like skinny dipping in streams off the mountains and hiking and I just felt a little bit you know, a little bit funky, but I was just living it up. It was like an amazing time for, for being a little bit sick. Uh, and they were just like, oh, I'll just play the concert anyway because it was outside and people were tired of canceling things for um, that crazy virus. So that was amazing. And then we ended up uh, renting a car driving up into the Pyrenees Mountains, crossing the border into France, and this incredibly beautiful uh, mountain ranges up there, and playing a concert in this really old uh, church, a couple concerts in these really small, ancient churches up in the Pyrenees Mountains. Uh, spent a couple days there, and then Alma and I took a bus to Marseille, because we had a concert. We barely got there in time, and we had an amazing time in Marseille. Um, yeah, that was incredible experience. I'd never been in that city, and it was just so cool and diverse, and people from all over the world. And um, incredible nightlife, and what a, what a great city. The final concert of this tour was in this small village in central France called Vence. And um, so we had like a couple days to get up there, which was cool. So I had this brilliant idea that we were going to rent an electric car. And uh, Alma was a little doubtful, but um, I kind of convinced her and because I saw, you know, the charging stations and all these different places in France. We'd definitely be able to do it. And so, uh, so we had a couple days, and we visited some cousins, which was awesome, in Montpellier. We went to Nice and saw these amazing Roman ruins there, and then uh, Roman era. And then, um, so we, uh, our plan was to head up, stop one night in this uh, small little quaint hotel on the way. So, but this electric car was okay at first, but then it stopped charging. So I, I was like, the day of the concert, uh, I had been charging it all night before, and I got there in the morning. We were like 350 kilometers from the concert. So the morning um, before, I was, you know, checking the car, make sure it had a charge. I knew we could charge it again. In another spot but um, to my disbelief and frustration it was not charging for some reason with the cables that it provided and the official station 
And I was like, wow, this is uh, bad. We're going to have to get to the next station kind of like on the way and try to charge it. And we only had like a quarter of a, you know, amount of electricity in this car to get there. This is not a, uh, a hybrid, by the way. This is a fully electric car. And so um, you cannot put any fuel in it, any carbon-based gasoline or anything like that so so i'm like okay i find out where this other charging station is i figure it must be the station so we were driving through the mountains uh and kind of still somewhat in southern france we're driving through the mountains and um because we're going uphill part of the way the it shows you like a like a fuel gauge what the electricity is it just starts dropping precipitously ah! and we're like oh my god we get like stuck here in the middle of who knows where we barely speak we don't speak french uh aside from a few you know pleasant trees so um yeah we're like whoa are we even gonna get to the top over this range and it's weird because you start using the brakes and it like goes back up because the brakes has a special thing where, you know, it gives you a little more energy from the friction or whatever. I don't really understand the science of it, but it gives you a little more when you're coming down and using the brakes. Uh, but basically, then we got to this place where the next charging station was, this tiny little town in this mountain range of kind of up towards central France, but still in the southern area. And okay, so I, I plug in the charger again. I'm like, okay, we made it. Whew. And it starts to charge and then like within a minute, it just goes clink and it stops and stops charging. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we gotta be at this concert in like four hours. And we're like still 150 kilometers away or 200 I think it was so um, and the and this vehicle's not charging and so we go into this cafe and luckily there's someone who willing to speak a little bit of English to these Americans <laughs> actually they're really nice it's not like the typical French attitude with Americans who don't speak French so, and they're like, well, there's a car rental place. Maybe you can get another car up, uh, you know, it was like a half hour, 25 minutes drive from there. And I really didn't even think we had enough charge to get there. But we had no, we had no option. So we, uh, we just got in and we're like, praying that we'll make it to this car rental place because we called there and they had one car left uh that they could rent us that day and they had to make like special arrangements and and so it was this whole deal so we're getting there and it's like the meet it's like right before we get to the t town the thing is literally on zero it's it's we're running on elect the spare electrons like you hear a spare fumes running your car this is spare electrons or whatever getting to this rental place in this bigger town that actually had the last car of the day um at first we couldn't even find it we had to go around the block a couple of times I i'm figuring the car's just gonna stop the car's just gonna stop finally we like rolled into this place we were like oh my god what a miracle we made it here and um this woman set us up totally sweet she was an angel she set us up the very last minute with this car and we left the uh, electric car there the uh, the company took it and uh we hightailed it up to vance and it was incredibly stressful we had to call the a, a drupad artist who organized it named Jérôme Comier, who's a disciple of Wasifuddin Dagar, one of the great Drupad singers who lives in Delhi. I actually interviewed him in India. 
So uh, organized this concert and we're like calling him. And we're like, we don't even know if we're gonna get there before the concert starts. So please do the first part the vocal music and then I'll play afterwards. And he's like, okay, let me see if I can rearrange that. We drive this another 150, almost 200 kilometers. We find this place. It's like this 800 year old church in this tiny French village. Um, and it's incredibly beautiful. And just these huge stone walls and filled with a, just a beautiful, not super large audience, but very appreciative, like you know, 60 people or something. And um, we get in there and Jerome is just starting the alap in Drupad style. And all the stress of this day just kind of like melts away in this beautiful experience of this music. And um, it ended up being the best concert of the tour because it was like this really dramatic contrast between uh, the stress of not realizing if I was gonna make the final concert of this tour. It would have been such a bummer, a drag to have like missed the last concert uh, in this very special place with these wonderful artists, uh, Jerome, and a um, Pakawich player named Gerard Habubu. Um, so it was just such a relief to be there and the contrast of the day of being so worried and stressed if we were going to make it and just praying to God that somehow we would make it. Uh, and then landing there in this incredibly beautiful place with this just enchanting alap going on and this beautiful performance by Jerome he sang Yemen and just uh, brought incredible sense of peace you know sometimes when you go through something really difficult uh, and you get through it you have just so much more of a profound sense of uh gratitude and peace and just love in your heart for what is you know and and um i had that and then and then this is this is the result that jerome had arranged to record the concert in this acoustically really amazing church which we're listening to right now and um so it got documented we got the files from him and Mixed it here in LA recently with my friend Bryce. And uh, we put this album together. And I'm just so grateful that this angel got us there somehow. You know? I know people can think like, uh, oh, it just worked out. You know, but these kinds of experiences in my life just reaffirm my faith that there is a God, there is a, there is a power in the universe which when we really put our mind and our heart and our focus that however things turn out that that spirit will be with us, you know? And so, I, um, on the album cover, there was this angel in the church, and I, 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 I'll post that too, the, the cover. Uh, so I used that for the, this hanging angel for the album cover, which Carlton made, which I really appreciate. So this is the album. It's got, it's got a Pakawaj accompaniment. It was the first time I ever Played a full concert with just Pakawaj instead of Tabla. And uh, it 
something about, you know, some concerts just have a certain flow and magic to them, which you can't explain why it doesn't come every time, but it just really felt like that. It really felt like, wow, the power of the spirit is here. And, and it was because of the, just the contrast of what happened that day and, and it all coming to some, it all working out, which was really beautiful. So, yep, this album is on, right now it's just on Bandcamp. You can listen to it for free there. You can buy it if you want or just listen. Uh, but it'll be on all the streaming platforms um, within a week because we just released it. So, hope you can enjoy that. I feel like you can feel the air in the church and, and the beautiful atmosphere. Um, and we just met all these amazing people and had this super traditional French brunch the next day out in the garden with like 25 people and what I love about that culture is just it'll take like an hour and a half or longer to just sit and eat and hang out you know they're not in a rush and I hope that we can learn we can learn from that here as as Americans and people anywhere who are just stressed out rushing around you know that's the great thing about this raga music you can't really be in a rush listening to it either you really just have to be in a receptive mood to absorb and allow the pouring out of the holy spirit to come in you you know like my name saint saint paul said May the love of God pour into your heart. And uh, I hope that through this music that you can feel some of that, that love and that energy, that positivity, because we really need that in the world right now. And uh, so thanks for listening to this story. I hope that um, you're all finding ways to get into a meditative spirit, because, you know, if we just listen to the news too much it's very very stressful it's very negative there's so much uh, disasters and doom and violence so we gotta create some good news you know and we gotta live the good news we gotta be in it you know so that's all I gotta say Thanks for listening. Enjoy this album, uh, Meditation on an Angel. And I hope to see you soon. Namaste. Bless. Bless. Om Yeshina. Om Yeshina.